Hey guys, uh, it's getting easier to start these videos, not as awkward as it was before. Uh, just want to talk about a few things, uh, and I think I have what I want to talk about down pack, and it's the concept of the weekend for me. And what, is that, what does that mean? The weekend for myself is a time period or you can classify this as a time period where you have to spend more time thinking about not doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is gaming. So uh, for me, if that made sense, I don't think it did, but you'll get the point here in a second. For me, my normal weekday routine is get home, 4 o'clock, pick up the sun, start supper, feed the sun, Spend some time with the family, 7 o'clock, the sun goes to bed. I now have free time from 7 o'clock till bedtime 11-ish, let's call it that. Four hours. It's a four-hour window of me attempting to not game. It's easy enough to fill a four-hour window, considering you go, you start to go to bed uh, about after hour three, so it's technically three hours. So that's that can be either just chill out with a wife, it can be going downtown, which can take up two taking pictures, could be anything, but it's quick to fill a smaller amount of time, like four hours. So when I say the weekend, it's a time period which uh, requires me to spend more time, more agony um, at not gaming. And I believe, when I was thinking about this, that some uh, people watching this Attempting to relate might have to go through that on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I gotta get used to cars parking beside me and me talking to myself. So some people might think of that on a day-to-day -day basis. They have to go through an eight-hour day or a ten-hour day, like a weekday weekend for me, day-to-day, -day. and that's I think about that, and that's hard. Having a kid now, I don't even have to do an eight-hour day on the weekend because I don't game when he's awake because it's a personal choice. Obviously, he's annoying too when I'm trying to game, but... So I don't have an eight-hour day to fill, ever. Ten-hour days. I used to game for ten hours when I was younger, and uh, sometimes I, when I have a personal day at work and the kid's at daycare, I can fill that eight-hour eight, to ten, eight hour day. Uh, today, it felt daunting, so... Uh, when the cats are away, the cats will come out to play. The mice will come out to play. That's the one. And I wanted to be a little mouse today. Both my bosses were out. So I was like, I'm going to work from home today and attempt to relax throughout the day. Get some work done when I can. But mostly just have a day for me. And I thought, wait a second. I've quit gaming. The bulk of my time can't be used towards that. So what am I going to do? And I, I went to work. I just went to work because it was easier for me to fill my day at work than to attempt to do nothing at home. So that's what's going to talk about is filling larger periods of time, which may be more common for you guys than it is for me. Thankfully, I feel sorry for you guys if you have to fill a full day when you're not in the right mindset or don't have the right hobby. So how do you fill a day? How, what happens? So this is what happens. To me, if I were to have to fill it an eight-hour day, I'd do something. I would think about doing something else that's not so productive. Because you think you have to do something productive. You think you have to take up a hobby to fill your mind. Because you don't, you think your your brain's going to go into, I'm going to game. Which it does. So you do your photography, you do your drawing, you get bored of that. Because you're truly not knowing where you're going with that quite yet. And then you start watching Netflix or you're browsing Reddit for hours. And then you start thinking, hey, I should just game. I'm just wasting my time doing this anyways. And I want to talk about that. You you believe you're wasting your time doing something else that's not gaming. But it seems like a time sink and not productive time. Like Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, any of those type of activities. <laughs> but in the earlier stages of your addiction, as you're filling your hobbies up with fun things that you're going to be doing in your life, because you will be doing them, and once you start committing and learning those commitments to other hobbies, it's okay to watch Netflix for a few hours. Your, your sole goal in life is to 
not pick up that controller, not have the mouse and keyboards for your PC master races out there. That's your goal. You have to, you have to accept that things take time. Yesterday I talked about knowing that you're done. You have to know that you're done and things will take time. You will have um, temptations. You will still have the addictions inside of you because it is a habit. You have to be okay with things taking times and you may not have in the 100% route down pack. For me, right now, in reference to what I'm doing, this is the vlog. Hey, I had an idea. That guy's buying a lot of stands. He does not need that many stands. For me, I had the idea. I like sitting in a parking lot. I don't know if this works out for you guys. I asked my guys about maybe upping the quality a bit. I have my S uh, my camera for my thing, uh, my main DSLR for my thing, and take it to record videos and it has a flip camera. I could buy an external mic, maybe up the production quality a little bit. I talked really faster. Camera, SLR, production quality, higher. I was asking my friend what he thought about the video setup, and he liked the fact that I was in a car. And I like the fact that I can get distracted a little bit and kind of add a little bit of flair to the video. But... We're not going to leave, I, and I unedit these things, and I think that's a cool way of doing these. And then you talk about these things, and you lose your, lose your train of thought. So, what was I talking about? Filling my days. Gone. Shoo. Pause? There's a pause video in here. Let's just hit that. This might seem like an edit, but I'm going to go back and listen. No, I can't do that. Beep, pause. Yeah, I just want to pause for a minute. I couldn't think of what I was talking about. So it's okay to feel... You need to accept that you're going to feel down sometimes. It's okay. Just don't pick up that controller. For me, this weekend, I'm changing my environment, which is very helpful for me. I'm going out to uh, out of town for a water, my buddy's 30th birthday party. And I'm going to be spending some time with him at a water park. So I will only be close to gaming. He has games at home, but we'll be doing like board games and stuff. Get yourself out of your environment helps out a lot. Uh, this video, you just want to talk about longer periods of times. So how do you guys deal with longer periods of times? Um, since you might have to deal out with that on a day to day basis. I know there's a hobby list on the Stop Gaming subreddit. There's a hobby list on the Stop Gaming subreddit which you can attempt to fill your days with. Over time, this might take up more of my time, as well as my photography will probably take up more of my time, so I'm hoping that's what I'll fill my days with. Uh, but I hope, and I if I wish you guys good luck if you have to fill a, a full day, because it's very daunting. Um, things will get easier, you'll accept things over time, you'll look back on this. You'll have cravings eventually, you look back at this in a year, and you'll think, why did I do that in the first place? So if you're truly dedicated to do this, we're here. We're do, doing this together. Today is an, is an easy day for me because I get to pick up my son, spend some time with him. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. Maybe research and photography stuff. Again, trying to stay deep, focus into something else. So that's it for today. I uh, wish you guys all a happy weekend. Uh, since I'm at the water park tomorrow, I'm gonna try and maybe record something there. We are doing it in a more public area, and it might not have a shirt on, which is really awkward for you guys not for me but yeah uh, comment below if you want to about how do you feel your day maybe it'll help my help out some other people and maybe just what would you think about the videos in general like just a kind of like the, the way we're doing it in the car it's a little more personal and uh i'll keep, try to keep pumping this, these things out as much as possible uh i still haven't talked about my whys yet scary to, uh, scary scary topic We'll figure that out. Thanks, guys. Peace.